In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. Amen. Uh, let us come before the Lord in prayer. Uh, gracious and merciful Almighty God, we thank you for, for you, for your sovereign grace and um, your just supreme nature over all things. We thank you that you have provided us this amazing day, uh, even w with the grace of rain um, for our very dry land. And, uh, and uh, it's a great, great reminder for us, O oh Lord, that we should be um, hungry and thirsty for righteousness and to chase after you. And we thank you, God, on this day that we have uh, special guests and that we're able to prepare um, this interview. And we ask that it will go according to your plans and that it will be a blessing and um, that it may bring fruit for your kingdom. We thank you for John and his family, and we ask that you will bless him and uh, just guide our conversation today. And we thank you and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, right now we have uh, a quick um, song. Yeah, we have a quick song that's been pre-recorded by the praise team, and then we'll come back to you guys uh, with the teacher's prayer and Apostles' Creed, and we'll get the interview started. All too 
Let's pray. Um, dear God, we we thank you for today, Lord, uh, for bringing us together as a body of Christ in the midst of everything that's happening in the world, Lord. And we just pray that we are reminded that you are a sovereign God, Lord, the, the good, good Father. And we just pray for today's speaker here today. Um, Pastor John, that uh, you would use him to speak through him. Um, God, would you bless him, um, fill him with the Holy Spirit to speak truth and life into our youth ministry, Lord. And we just pray that um, as we prepare our hearts for worship and for your word, would you soften our hearts uh, to be sensitive to your will, uh, to listen to your word, Lord, um, that we be uh, salt and light in this world. So God, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us uh, recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right. Well, I'd like to now introduce our esteemed, uh, the one and only, John Halley. Um, let's see. He is um, husband to Amy. Very lovely. I uh, got to meet her. Oh, my goodness. It's been forever. But, yeah, uh, she was well well into her first pregnancy, <laughs> I think, when we went to visit. And then, uh, see, John is the father of two, Zach and Mac. Uh, I almost feel like you had that plan from the get-go, like that, that names would be like that. And then uh, he's been, John's been a dear friend of mine, my best friend since college. I think that would make us clear almost two decades. I think we're, we're getting, getting up there now. Uh, 18 so, years. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, some questions that we, we came up with uh, ahead of time. Uh, but I, I figured John would probably want to give an introduction of himself. So take it away. Absolutely. So it is awesome to get to not be with you per se in person, but I love getting to talk to you guys. Now, I can't see you. Um, because I'm on a different link. So I am, of course, trusting that David, you know, hasn't set up this uh, 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 joke that he's playing on me and just recording me talking to nobody. But um, yeah, so I live in Fort Myers, Florida. I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina. I lived in Jacksonville, Florida. I lived in Costa Rica for four years. I was a missionary there. And then I lived in Los Angeles for three years. That's where I met my wife and I went to seminary and then I took a job here in Fort Myers as, at a pass, as a pastor at a Methodist church. Uh, and then three and a half years ago, with the help, support and blessing of that church, we launched out, uh, my wife and I and some other folks, to start uh, a mission uh, project here in Fort Myers called Burning Bush Communities. 
And what we're about is going to places and working on loving people who the church uh, struggles uh, around here to love well and to uh, try and rather than inviting them to come to us, uh, working to share the love of God with them right where they live, work, play, or like you guys, where they go to school. So I do have a picture, of course, the mandatory picture David asked for of my family. So let me pull that up and uh, screen share this with y'all. So do I click on share screen or do you guys do that? You, what do I, let's see. Oh, there it is, got it. So there we are, this is Christmas in Waco hanging out at a, so we went to go play on this playground. And of course, because of the pandemic, it was closed, but they had these abandoned trains nearby. So, you know, it's always a fun and safe place for families to play on uh, abandoned trains. So this is us hanging out that uh, my oldest Zach in blue on the left, obviously that's my wife, Amy in green and my little guy, Mac, uh, she is holding on to him. So uh, yeah, and just a couple things I would say, like why would I have anything relevant to say to you guys besides, you know, many years ago I was in high school. So it has been my pleasure to work with youth of all ages, really. Um, let's see, from the time I was 22 till now, so the last 15 years, uh, 12 out of those 15 years, I have been working with youth. I did it in Costa Rica, I uh, did it in Jacksonville, Florida, I uh, did it in Los Angeles, and now, and I didn't see this one coming, I coach track and cross country at a local high school uh, and lead uh, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes there as one of the ways that, you know, I'm trying to share God's love uh, with with folks in our city. So I love working with middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, and yeah, you guys have a lot of challenges and a lot of things are different about your world uh, than the one uh, Pastor David and I grew up in. But before we get into anything serious, you know, anytime somebody invites me who I've known for almost 20 years to talk to people they're ministering to, I have to tell at least one story, and I have many, many stories about uh, Pastor David, but here's a classic for you. Uh, this would have been our sophomore year of college. David and I, we moved into this apartment, and David was not super familiar, and not that I was, uh, you know, Mr. Clean <laughs> at that part of my life, but he was apparently not super familiar with running a dishwasher. You and, you know, there's different... Hand, okay? <laughs> there's different kinds of soap right like you actually wash dishes by hand with one type and then you have another type for dishwasher so we had soap that was supposed to be used uh, to wash dishes by hand he didn't know that he was home alone god bless him trying to do the right thing and do dishes which didn't happen very often um for us and he put the 